Good morning and welcome to another uh, introductory video into the basic controls and features of Sequence Generator Pro. And this morning we're going to be looking at plate solving and uh, downloading, installing and doing a test solve of a, a file image using Plate Solve 2. So the first thing we need to do with any plate solver is to download the catalogues. In this case, uh, the PlaneWave catalogues are on their website, planewave.com. So you need to go there, go down to the Plate Solve 2 section and download these two files, APM Catalog Installer, UCAC3 Catalog. Don't download the uh, the actual software because that's a standalone program. So that um, will run on its own, but Sequence Generator Pro has its own built-in version. So we don't need that. So just download the catalogues, but remember where you download them to. Uh, this, it doesn't matter where, you can put them where you like. Uh, I, I put mine in my documents folder just for easy location, but so long as you remember where they are, because you will need to link to them later on. So once you've downloaded those, we can now open up Sequence Generator Pro, uh, assuming you've already got your main profile set up. Uh, if not, have a look at um, my other videos where I run through a uh, profile manager and the difference between the, uh, the, the active profile and the safe profiles. Uh, but in, for this instance, we'll open up an equipment profile manager. Have a look at the profile that I'm going to be using for this. Uh, I've already downloaded um, the plate solve too. But in your plate solve section, you'll see there the option to select your plate solver. There's various ones. Uh, we're going to use plate solve too. And the first thing we need to do now, once we've selected that, is to choose settings. Now this opens up this uh, pop-up dialog. And this is where we now need to point the software to the catalogs. So we go to File, Configure Catalog Directories, and you see at the moment it doesn't know where they are. We need to tell them. So select directory. Um, let's say mine are in my Documents folder. So just go to your Documents, Plate Solve 2, and APM. So once we click on this now, you'll see the state exchanges to OK, which means it's found the catalog and it's installed. Again, okay, next thing, same for the other one. We go to uh, my documents, and to plate solve two, UCAC three, and again the status changes. So let's now set the directories for the catalogs. We can close this for the time being. Um, make sure that we're using a blind failover. Um, for this, we use the local astrometry uh, catalog. If you're not going to connect to the internet, that's the one. If you are, and then you can use remote if you like. Uh, but for this purposes, we're going to use the local one. Now we need to save the profile in the, the profile manager. So that is now permanently saved Plate Solve 2 as our default Plate Solver. What we'll do now is we'll apply that profile to this sequence. And then we'll run a test image. So we'll open an image. Uh, we just opened a hydrogen alpha one that I took the other day. So, this is the heart nebula. Obviously, this is a FITS image, so there will be information in the FITS header. So, once we right click anywhere on the image, click Plate Solve, we've got the two options to solve using Plate Solve 2 or Blind Solve using the local astrometry. We're going to solve using Plate Solve 2, and you'll see the FITS information as populated these fields here. If it's not a FITS image, then you will, will need to find uh, the RA and DEC roughly and uh, populate that there so it knows the region that it's searching. In this instance, it is a FITS image. It solved it. It's a high confidence there. Um, it's got the RA and the DEC. Now I can use those coordinates for my current target by checking this box, clicking OK. And if I now go to my sequence, Check on my target, you'll see it's populated this information. I can now center or slew, depending what I'm doing, and then start imaging. This is great for if you're carrying on an image from the night before, or you're just picking an image that you want exactly that um, that particular field of view, and uh, then it's a great way of doing it. So hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, please check out my other videos and feel free to subscribe. I will carry on doing basic videos like this. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.